your... <sighs> Could it be? Apologies. Right. Yeah. Got it. We can find someone connected to the Hildress family. I don't know. If that woman's anything to go... Okay. Good, good. Huh. Well... Fool. Sure. Strange. I understand someone wanting to cling to their beliefs, but their story otherwise seems baseless. I feel the same way. Let's gather more information. Hey! Pardon me. Great! Very well. Sure. Lessons in etiquette, but that isn't what she wanted. She needed kind words, a shoulder to cry on, a comforting embrace when she was lonely. Xion, why don't we try asking some children? It's a long shot, but maybe we can learn something about any friends she might have had. Hey! Urwagil was the former lord of Ganeth Haros. Surely someone in this city was connected to him. Finally made it. What about without them? Uh, more stoppable?
Right. Yeah! Hmm. Right. Yeah. We didn't learn much about Nazamil, but that could just... she was hidden away while she grew up. Why don't we share what we know with the woman who worked for the Heldress family? Good idea. We don't have a lot to go on. That can't be. Sorry. <sighs> no. Okay. Very good. woman didn't seem to know that Nazamil's mother was a Danon, even at that age. Nazamil was kept out of sight for all but a handful of the Hildress family's staff. She really wasn't exaggerating about her upbringing. My heart hurts just thinking about it. If she were here right now, I'd want to scoop her up and give her a big hug. The next time we see her, we need to let her know how much she means to us. Finally made it. I feel like somebody's watching us. Maybe there's someone. Yes! <laughs> okay. Hmm, what would be the best spot for a fi fishing pond? How about asking everyone's opinion? Oh, but we're not supposed to let Dohalim know, huh? Oh, that's not a problem. He's stuck in Pelegian, so we don't have to worry about him finding out. Sorry for the extra trouble, but asking everyone's thoughts is a good idea. I'll do that later. <laughs> Kisora? Okay. Sorry. Judging from their reaction, I doubt anyone here would be happy to have a fishing pond. Don't worry. We've got lots of other possible locations. Alfin. Yeah, you're right. Plus, I think a fishing pond will be great for teaching children the joy of fishing. All right. Let's head on to the next spot. Looks like we made it here in one piece. Hmm. Hey. 
hey. Huh? What'd you say? Hey! <sighs> wow. Hmm? <sighs> Boy, it's tough to find a spot that checks all the boxes. But through all of this, I've realized something. A fishing pond isn't just a safe spot to fish. It's also a place to relax and reflect. A pond may play an even greater role than I originally thought. It's good to be back in familiar territory. You think so? Always good to be back in familiar territory. <sighs> right. Huh? You did it! Um... All right. Really now. The thought of swimming in a fishing pond had never even occurred to me. But if it'll make the citizens happy... Isara, I don't think there's any need to force yourself to accept their input. We've reached our destination. I see. So you want to build a fishing pond, but you can't find a good location. Then how about here? It's surrounded by animals and nature. The perfect spot, huh? Whoa, really? Kisara, this would be great. Indeed. It would be easy for me to stop by, and we could arrange for a patrol to keep away any zoogles. Then the ranch will be protected too. That's two birds with one stone. Then if it's settled, all that's left is preparations to build the pond. No, wait a moment. As we've traveled around, I've seen other spots where I want to build a pond, too. Huh? But the other ones all had reasons that made them a bad fit for a fishing pond. That's true. Still, I've realized the benefits of building fishing ponds there. I can't forget about all that at the drop of a hat. All right. That certainly sounds like your way of thinking. Then let's think again about each spot. No. I plan to build fishing ponds in all of the sites we visited. That will cost more money, of course, but I'll find a way to save it up. At all of the sites? That's one big job. All right. I'll see this through to the end, too, Kisara. I can help with building the pond here. I'm no stranger to physical labor, after all. Thanks. I'll ask for your help when I need it. My dream still has a long way to go. Uh, 
I had no idea you were planning such a thing. I apologize for not telling you. I didn't want to trouble you. It's merely a small dream of mine. Oh, it is no small thing. Creating a space for people to connect is truly magnificent. I'll be sure to visit the fishing pond once it has been completed. By all means. I'll gladly teach you the joys of fishing when you do. Looks like we made it here in one piece. I feel like somebody's watching us. Maybe there's... Sorry. All right. That Renan girl seemed like she was hiding something. Everyone has their secrets, even children. For now, let's focus on finding her. Someone may know where the girl went. We should try asking kids around town if they know anything. What's this thing? Still don't yeah, her astral energy is weak, so she's been ostracized by the Renans. So when the Danon girl acted like she could use astral arts, it set her off. Wait, Alfin, I have an idea. The Renan girl is good with jewelry, right? So maybe if we give her some materials to make necklaces with, it would help them become friends. Worth a shot. After all, most people are happy when others show interest in what they like. Besides, I don't want her to feel trapped. Just because Ren and values say someone's aptitude with astral energy determines their worth. I want her to know that she can focus on what she enjoys and be herself. We should relay that message and give her some supplies for her art. Then that settles it. First, let's gather supplies. Now that I think about it, a book I once read had some information about materials used in Danon necklaces. So I know where we can start. Once we've got everything, let's take them to the Danon girl and fill her in on our plan. It isn't easy being different. 
it's something Nazumil and I know all too well, which is all the more reason to do everything we can to help that girl. I can relate too, but I'll let Rinwell take the lead on this one. I agree. This seems important to her. That was quite the little adventure we went on. This memorial is here for those who died under Renin rule. Yeah, like my dad. Speaking of Zephyr, what happened to that ring, Law? I don't see you wearing it. Oh, my dad's ring? I don't have it with me right now. What? Why not? It's a special memento, isn't it? Sure, but... Uh... It's heavy. I'm tired of carrying it around all the time. You're saying a ring is too heavy for you? Or is that an excuse because you misplaced it? Of course not. It's around. Somewhere. Right. So where exactly is it then? Well, I guess... I knew it! I'll help you look for it. It's a special memento to remember your mom and dad by. You don't need to bother. It's okay. Stop trying to hide your feelings. I'm sure someone's seen it. Let's ask around. <sighs> you pick up on the... Strangest things. Always sticking your nose in others' business. I appreciate the thought, but... Did you say something, Law? No, nothing. No. Yeah. Hmm. Thanks. Uh huh. Okay. Afraid I can't. Hmm? Well... <sighs> yeah. Uh-huh. Seems like no one knows anything. Can we please just give up already, Renwell? It's unlike you to give up so early, Law. When in doubt, it is best to return to your roots. Agreed. Let's return to the memorial and take some time to think. Zephyr's memento is too precious to just abandon. Say... 
Maybe we should pray at the memorial while we're out and about. We can ask that Zephyr and the people of Calaglia continue to rest in peace. That's random. Why now? Hearing everyone's stories made me remember a lot about Zephyr. He was respected by everyone, not just us. He really helped them. Yeah. I could never measure up to my dad. Let's take a moment to say a prayer then. A moment of silence. <sighs> dad, what did you want me to do with that ring? Nathan and the others gave it to me. But then... I'll never be a leader like you. I can barely even look after myself. Someday I want to be the kind of man who will make you and mom proud, but... I don't know when that day's gonna come. Do I even deserve to carry your prized possession? Everyone expects me to be just like you. Shouldn't it belong to someone who can carry on your legacy as a leader? Dad, if you were alive, what would you tell me now? Dad? What the world? Hey, what the hell is wrong with you? I just wanted to talk and here you're coming out swinging! Fine, damn it! I can't help you. Wanna talk with this? And I'll answer with mine! See ya! See ya! Talon door! Dragon shot! Okay? Huh? Oh, sorry. I was spacing out. I thought you were deep in prayer. But were you actually asleep? No, I was awake. It was kind of like I was dreaming, though. I daydreamed that my dad beat me up. Maybe that means I should stop being so wishy-washy about this ring stuff. 
wishy-washy. I think it's time for me to come clean. Look, the truth is, I know exactly where the ring is. What? You mean you didn't misplace it? No. I crammed it in a drawer in Nate's room. Why would you do that to a memento of your dad? I did it because it's a memento of my dad. Everyone here misses him. They want another amazing leader just like him. But I'm not ready for that. All those expectations have turned into a burden. So is that what you meant when you said the ring's too heavy to carry around? Yeah. It was my dad's prized possession. Wearing it makes me feel like I'm taking on his whole legacy. I realize Nath is in a better position to take over dad's legacy as a leader. I had no idea. I'm sorry, Law. I didn't know you were struggling like that. It's fine. I should have said something. Maybe I just wanted to push all my struggles onto someone else. That daydream of getting beat up by my dad woke me up. So what will you do with the ring? I'll go talk to Nath. I can't keep making other people deal with my issues. La. It's good that you were able to see your father again, even if it was just a dream. I guess. We got in a fist fight, but that's just like him. Or just like the two of us, maybe. Nath, are you free? I, um... It's about Dad's ring. Oh, that? You left it lying around in here, but I put it somewhere safe. Don't worry. Huh? I didn't just leave it lying around. It's fine, just take it already. It's your ring, right? Don't lose it again. Right. I won't ever let go of it again. Is it still heavy? The ring, I mean. Kinda, but now I understand. I'm always the same me, whether I have the ring or not. There's no way now to know what Dad would've wanted. I just have to do whatever I can. The law I know would never bother to think too deeply about something. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Looks like he's overcome his worries. What was he even worried about anyway? If he didn't stop being so indecisive, I thought Zephyr might come back from the dead to beat some sense into him. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past Zephyr. Uh-oh. He'll hear us if we talk too loud. Anyway, don't get yourself too worked up, Law. He pretended not to notice, but I'm pretty sure Nath knew I was worried about something. That makes sense. He seems to know you really well. Yeah, though maybe he knows me too well. It can get kind of annoying that I can't hide anything from him. Not much I can do about that, though. After all, he's known me since I was a little kid. I haven't known you as long as he has, but it sure seems easy to understand what you're thinking. Oh, yeah? Then, what am I thinking about right now? Hmm... That you're hungry? Who do you think I am, Shion? No! Actually... I was thinking about how I need to take good care of this ring. For both my dad and my mom. Definitely. If you ended up losing it for real, we'd have a seriously hard time finding it. Not only that, but I'm sure Zephyr would be furious. Oh, he was. Huh? Nothing. You don't have to worry, though. I won't let go of it again. Yeah, I can tell. Do you think you're ready to wear the ring now? I think so. It seems smaller than when my dad had it. Maybe you've just grown into it.
We've reached our destination. I guess camping isn't so bad, as long as it's with good company. Better rest easy and prepare for tomorrow. <laughs> that was nothing. Good morning. Oh, don't mind me. I just had a strange dream last night. I think that's everything we need. Then let's return to Avakir. How's this? <laughs> to play music with your friends again. It's an opportunity I never thought I would... have. I think it's because you were finally able to talk openly with her. I would be overjoyed if our relationship could return to the way it once was. some support by myself, but no luck. You have a real knack for it. I find it is vital to first acknowledge others' opinions and strengths. If you focus on only what you need, no one would wish to aid you. I see. I'll try that next time. Hmm. Ah. Yeah. Why, you? Enough. Hey. Yes. Yes!
You did well back there, Xion. Your technique is improved. I followed your advice from earlier, and it worked just like you said. But it still feels strange to me. Speaking directly and getting right to the point has always been more my style. Hello. <laughs> oh? Yes. <sighs> hmm. Yeah. Your method is effective as well. You're better at winning hearts and minds than you give yourself credit for. Thanks. Coming from you, that does give me a little more confidence. Wait a minute. You just used your method on me. Wow, you are good at this. It really is something to behold. Only problem is, he does it without realizing. All I did was speak honestly. Like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads. everyone else great you're both here got a minute i just found some pretty materials think you could use these to make accessories oh wow i've never seen anything like this i can make a nice necklace or even earrings with this stuff but hey i don't know much about those kinds of crafts do you think you could teach me sometime what i don't know about that you sure? I heard you've got a knack for that kind of thing. Uh, fine. I guess I could show you a thing or two. Thank you. Oh, can this girl join us? The more the merrier, right? Fine, whatever. None of the Renans ever had anything nice to say about my necklaces, though. Listen, I'm sorry about before. I only brought up magic because I wanted to be friends. I don't know anything about making necklaces, so can you show me? And will you be my friend? Okay, and I'm sorry too. Looks like they've made up. Yeah, the two of them always wanted to be friends. So I hope they keep getting along. Oh, right. There's something I'd like to say to you two. Is that okay? The world is full of all kinds of people. Everyone has their talents and shortcomings. But there's more to them than that. Whether they're Danin or Renin, if people can work together to appreciate each other's differences, the world will be a better place. Oh, I see. I don't really know about that yet. It's okay. I've been figuring it out little by little myself. All right, then. I'll teach you how to make cute necklaces, just like me. Right now? Sorry. I appreciate the offer, but I'm kind of busy at the moment. 
But the two of you should just go ahead and make them without me. Got it. Thank you, miss. That went well. They're getting along and even include... <laughs> oh, stop it. Don't make me blush. But seeing the two of them made me realize I really want to get close with Nazemil. Not just as an adventuring partner, but as a true friend. I'm sure you can do just that. Good job, Rinwa. Sounds like those two were able to make up thanks to you. Yeah, it looks like they were able to clear up their misunderstanding with each other. I hope they can become good friends. I hope so too. But what if something goes wrong and they get in another fight? Xion? I'm sorry, it's just... I... Xion, don't worry. Working through their differences is how kids learn to understand each other and become closer friends. She's right. Kids may fight a lot, but they usually make up quickly. I see. I guess you would know better. I never had those kinds of experiences. But you and I were like that too, weren't we? And in the end, that's how the two of us became friends, right? So if we could do it, I'm sure those kids will be just fine. Rinwell. Yeah, you're right. If you believe in them, then I'm sure they'll be okay too. Oh, but you know, the only reason I feel that way now is because I had the chance to become friends with you, Xion. It was only because of you that I was able to help those kids make up with each other. So... Thank you, Xion. I'm really glad we became friends. Yeah, same here, Renwell. I'm so grateful I get to have a friend like you. I think this event shows just how much Rinwell has grown. I... Agree. She's come a long way from when we first met. Kisora, I'm not done growing either. There's no way Rinwell will end up taller than me, right? That's not the kind of... Growth we're talking about. Though Your dignity shrinks by the day, Law. I see a cat. I wonder how Zari is doing.
Hmm. All right. Uh. <laughs> oh, wow. <sighs> hey. Hey. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. La? Yeah. <laughs> the materials can be harvested from Zoogles? Sounds like a job made for your... Truly, if my handiwork happened... ...to benefit someone else, then so be it! Oh, enough of that! That's everything. All right, time to deliver. <laughs> huh? <laughs> La? Hey. Whoa. <laughs> An embroidery class sounds like so much fun. What do you two want to make? I want to embroider an image of Poodle. It'll be the cutest thing ever. I want to make something cool. Maybe start by deciding what exactly that is. But I look forward... ...to the finished products. Both of them.